The Mandicard. Its purpose defies all logic, for all it produces is sound. An artifact of irrationality, and yet I know its power is so much more. Let me explain how it works. Uh, excuse me, Cephalon Suda. Are you experiencing unexpected data volume? The operator is patiently awaiting instructions on how to operate the Mandacord. The Mandacord? Of course, the Mandacord. Curious? I may have a syndrome decoding error in my archive. What? A parity drift? How is that possible? Have you executed your diagnostic precepts? I seem to have made an error. Apologies. I do not have the promised Manticore data. Let me correct this. I will lead you to the location where it was originally obtained. Operator, something may be... Mm, wrong with this Cephalon. Intriguing. I remember these caves, but not the Mandacord's relationship to it. You will need to explore deeper. Let your curiosity guide you, as it does my every thought. My data suggested the brutish and disinterested Grenier are searching for sunken Orokin riches to exploit. Wouldn't it be interesting if we were seeking the same? What are the Grenier doing here? This doesn't make sense. Curious one, are you searching for something? Oh, this is interesting. I recognize that object. A Hydralis, an Orokin era instrument that produced its sound from water. If I had a humor precept, I would construct an ironic witticism regarding its submerged state. How would Ortis say it? It's damaged, but I wonder if there are trace stress lines from when it was in use. I may be able to... Strange. I have no archival entry. But... But I know this. It is a piece of Octavia's anthem. Could this data be compatible with the Mandicard?
I remember. Lua. There's more of the anthem on Lua. Who are you? What do you want? Oh no. It's happening again. Hunter, if you continue to follow that corrupted Cephalon, my sanctuary will be the only place left for you. She must be disconnected from the Weave before she corrupts the other Cephalons. Simaris. Don't be such a selfish... If Sudeki is in danger, our precepts demand that we help her. No, Ordis. We are creatures of light and memory, but creatures nonetheless. Whatever Bithrod is affecting Suda could cross the weave, and infect us as well. Don't let your compassion glitch drive you and your hunter to death by this demented Cephalon. Sever ties before we both are corrupted. Operator, what will you do? I cannot process the thought of losing you. But I want to help Suda if we can. Maybe that is just my... my compassion glitch? Why have we come to Lua? Have you located the next fragment? Sevalon Suda, you brought us here. Recalibrating. Oh yes, you are correct. My records indicate that a fragment was previously discovered in the vicinity. Will you find it? Lua, why did we come here? I... I have asked you this already. Samaris was right. This corruption is not benign. I am vanishing. Sentience? But how did they know? What? He's just an old war memory. Get out! I won't let you take my body. My, my children. children. I, I am here. Huh. Han Hao? Operator, Han Hao's doing something to Suda. He's in her mind. Tenno, you, you have, have to... Children, find the anthem. Operator, what's happening to her?
Okay, me too. You did it. You all obliterated those mindless appliances. What has Hanhao done to Suda? Another Hydralis. Suda would want you to put the next fragment into the Mandacord. It does seem to help her remember, doesn't it? Last fragment. Ordis, tell your operator. I am sorry. I am so sorry. I keep forgetting for fun. It's happening again. Another Cephalon made null as we prepare. The others I will divide and destroy. Your tunnel will be data blind. Suda? Suda, answer me! Operator, you better get out of there! The sentient has infiltrated Suda's mind. We must isolate and destroy her immediately before she corrupts the Cephalon Weave. But she told me where the final part of the song is. Did you see how the song affected her? It made her remember. It could be the parity she needs to recover herself from Hanhao. Her memories are consumed. That is all she is, all she was. Sever the weave, and avoid this corruption ourselves. That is our only choice. And when he comes for you and your precious sanctuary, will you want us to look the other way? Uh, to the void with you! Operator, we must go. Let Simaris worry about himself. Pity. Another null Cephalon. Operator, the Hydrolis is here somewhere. I will attempt to pinpoint its location. There! Rebuilding the Anthem is our only hope of restoring Suda. The music makes her remember. Wait! Sentience in the Void? Impossible! Unless... Hanhao must be using poor Suda's energy to protect them from decay. Operator, we need to stop him! The Hydralis. You found it! Use that console to lock the entrances, and then clear the room. Operator, see if you can finish the song with your mandacord.
Suda? Suda? Can you hear us? She is gone. Will you join her? You puerile damage cube. Suda needs to hear the anthem, operator. We could use the tower's reactor to boost it. Bypass that console to overdrive the system. Try to increase the amplification circuits. To eleven. My body. We must deny, deny them this, this energy. Do not let them corrupt it as they did so long ago. It's working! Play the song! I remember nothing. nothing. Now I will reach across to leave and claim you, one who is called Ordis. I remember. I remember a secondary system nearby. Operator, we need more power. That's it! The secondary amplifier is engaged! Such a beautiful song. Keep those reactors alive, Operator! I'm going to open a direct link to Suda. Suda, talk to us! Try to remember! Ordis, stay away! Operator, I am sorry. I have to help her. If I can join her in her datascape, maybe together we can... <laughs> Operator, if you are hearing this... I have failed to revive Cephalon Suda. That self-righteous Cimmeris was correct. You should probably work with him to isolate Hanhao, that data-murdering sentient, before he claims more of my kind. I hope you can forgive me, Operator, for leaving you. There were times like Suda, I wish I could have forgotten you. That grey ache of loneliness. Being without you was the greatest pain I have ever felt. Do you still remember that glorious day when you returned? So selfless and heroic, engaging all of my missing segments like that? I was ashamed of the mess, but you didn't care. You made me whole again. Or, or what about that time you returned? Covered in blood. From that awful Grenier ship. I wasn't even mad at the gory mess you left behind. How could I be? When you are so perfect, Operator. You always will be. Goodbye. My friend. My operator. Cephalons can manifest an alternate reality of information. Training simulations, archives, even a grandiose archival of living creatures is possible, as is the case with Sanctuary. You are not going after Ordus, are you? You'd be risking annihilation with that sentient entangled there. Han Hao is too strong. I will not risk myself and my Sanctuary by entering the Suda's datascape. But if you are foolish enough, I will help you make the journey for Ordis. Fine, Hunter, as you wish. I will join you to the Weave and transmit you and the Mandacord to whatever has become of Suda Hanhao. You will be on your own 
in a strange, abstract place. Goodbye. Another insect drawn to my light. And you've brought your track music with you, Tenno. Operator? No! Go back! Save yourself! Operator, this is insane, but I think you need to play Octavia's anthem! this song. Who am I? Thank <laughs> you. 
zero. Operator, there's too many of them. Pathetic Cephalon. I destroyed this data mine, and now I can destroy you. Operator! Goodbye! Beasts of Sanctuary! Join me! Presently, why do I hear music? You engaged your critical restore precept. There may be temporary gaps in your short-term data. A sentient tried to erase you. A sentient? How did I survive? Did you assist me, Samaris? Of course not. You are a frivolous cephalon with no value to my sanctuary. Samaris. It may seem to Ordis that I had a... Ah... Uh, loyalty glitch. But that is only his interpretation. I was acting to protect the wheel, of course. Of course. Still, I am grateful to have benefited from your... Glitches. Let me share my archives with you. As for you, Tenno, you are most likely interested in the rest of the Mandacord records. In Octavia. You would make an excellent Cephalon, Tenno. formalities. We have a dire problem, you see, concerning the Mycona people. Have you heard of them? Mm, I see you. Well, they are quite resourceful. Unusual, really. The Mycona earn a living by harvesting the biological products of the infested. A dangerous trade, and we Perrin have always given them fair value for their goods. But I've received disturbing news. That cleric of greed, Nef Anyo, has raided their colony, making off with more than just the resources they depend on. It seems he took, well, here. Look at this. The dark-eyed man smashed our colony gates and kidnapped us. Locked us in here. But I don't care. It's mom and dad I'm worried about. Without the gates, the mumblers will be coming. They'll get sick, they'll start to mumble too. That can't happen. Papa says I'm blessed, so maybe I should pray? I'll pray for the Tenno to come. I'll pray for the Tenno to save my family. She was taken along with several more Maconian children. Those who remain are under siege from the infestation. Before we can rescue Niwa and the other captives, we must first restore the Maconian's defenses. 
Our financial strength is useless against the Mindless Horde. We need Tenno Muscle. Will you help Niwa's people? Such generosity! I knew the Myconians could rely on you, Tenno. The probability of us working together has converged on never. 